Hey, welcome back. So I've changed my mind. Instead of us uh, finishing up with the functionality, let's finish up with the drag and drop uh, because I think it's good to have it finished before we start making copies. Otherwise, we'll have to copy the new functionality to the other side as well. So what we'll do here, let's add a few event listeners to listen to this dragging over here. So um, what to do now? is let's go back to our drawing board this is courses view in the javascript part so what i want to do is right here okay so this is draggable right so let's add another attribute here that is going to be the instead of on click let's add another listener which is on drag start now if you want to know what the um, uh, the available events are just go to where you have pure html go into one of the elements and just type on and then you get these suggestions so i want i'm looking for anything with drag so i'm just going to say dr drag like this so let's see on drag end on drag leave over and on drag start so that looks like something i would want to use on drag start how about on drop Okay, so there's on drop. Then there's a drag um, over. Okay, so there's drag over. Mm, good. So I think those things we're going to need. We're going to need on drag start so that we know when we start dragging, what we are dragging, right? On drag over, what we are dragging over because that's where we want to drop the item. And then on drop, when we actually drop the item. So those are the three I think we should use. But they are sometimes a bit confusing. So we'll test them and see when they respond. So I'll duplicate this on click and then I'll use the drag start like this. And then let's run a function here. This is intended learners tab drag. Hmm. Okie dokie. Hmm. Okay, so let's just put drag there. Quite long names, yeah. Okay, then we'll grab the event. So, so on drag start, uh, we have a function to run. So let's do function. That's the function, and let's just put e instead of a long name to reduce the amount of code. On the other side, it has to be event. Here, it can be any character. Okay. So all I want is to console.log what we are doing here. So I just say console.log okay what are we logging let's log the e dot current target okay goody i just want to see if the item itself will be seen in the console when i drag so let me click and drag okay so there it is it actually worked looky there now i just want to make sure it's the right item that i've dragged so i'll put some text in it one two three four right and then drag it there we go so let's see what the inner html is for this thing let's go to dot inner html where is it inner text hmm it's empty right oh no 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 there's an input in here which has the text right i forgot so we need dot if i go to dot children here right this is a collection like i had said before if i click on dot children you see all the items in there and i'm looking for the input so let's look for the value of this input so let's go in there and look for that value let's go dot value v is down here oh my god there's so much in here sv value look at that one two three four okay so that's how i know that uh, this is the right thing we are dragging so good it actually records what we are dragging who knew okay cool so once we do that that's good news so then we can save it so let's come back here actually you know all those uh, variables that are intended for this location we can actually save them here. So let me come back up here because we may need to move this code to a different file. So I think I better keep these things close. So I'm moving the students learn, blah, blah, blah. It will still work because 
you see here we are using it around here right before we declare it because i will declare it right at the bottom but keep in mind that this only runs after we run a um we are handling a result of an ajax request and ajax requests are quite slow so by the time it returns result it means everything has been declared down the line here so this is going to work just fine i hope uh, so this script here for intended learners, let me put its variables right there. So let me just test this to see that I haven't broken anything yet. Let's refresh. And yep, it still works. Good. Okay, so from here, we can declare a different variable. Now here, I want this to be the, let's see, item to drag. Now, the reason I have to put this, let's say item Let's see, let me duplicate this. Students learn minimum inputs. No, actually the item to drag can be shared by all of them. So I don't need to is equal to, let's set it to an empty value. You no, know, like that. Okay, great. Now, the reason why I have to put this outside is because uh, when we start dragging, this function will run and then that's it. By the time we drop, this function would have exited. So if we declare the thing in here, then it will mean nothing when we run a different function. So if we declare it from the outside, it's better because we can uh, always access it later. So here I'm just going to say uh, items, item to drag is equal to this item, the current target of this. Okay, okay, cool. Uh -huh. Now I can create another function. So here, this one can be drag start like this. Okay, then let's run another function for drag over. Now you don't need to make several functions. You can do all that in here by putting if statements to check what event are we responding to and then do something else but i think this is easier for learning so you can see what's going on so i'll keep it simple uh, and let's put this one on drag over the simpler the better right so on drag over this item to drag now item to drag to <laughs> will be another one so the item we are dragging to here so we're doing exactly what we were doing here where we grab we tell it move to to move that's what we are moving move to and then we can grab the container so the container can be grabbed in the end and then let's do a function drop okay intended liners tab and let's put drop here Ooh. and then now the item so we have item to drag uh, either of them since they are both in the same place so it doesn't really matter which one we grab so let's just say item to drag or let's use item to drag to uh, dot parent node and then dot insert before and then now we can do an insert before so the thing we are moving item to drag comma item to drag to and that should work like this great 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 now let's just make sure we're responding to the events now i'm just going to have faith here and see if things will work let me just put two of these let's drag over and then there's drop all right so this one it goes to the drop function this one goes to the drag over function like that. So let's see if any of this will work at all. So let's try. Let me put this guy over here and insert before this one at the top. So grab. Nope. Doesn't seem to work at all. Okay. So there's a problem. Reference error intended letters drag is not defined hmm okay so that's drag start that's because i changed the function name but didn't change it here 
Okay, we dodged the bullet, so maybe things are going to work. Let's keep this open to see any errors. Let me grab this. Okay, so no errors whatsoever, but things don't seem to be working. Why is this? So let's look at which one of these is not firing, right? So I'm going to do a console.log of uh, E dot current target. Okay, I don't need to, eh, maybe I can show the current target, that's fine. Then let's do this, come down here, and uh, yeah, let's do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. So let's see which event does not fire. So I'll put some text and let's click drag. Okay. I can't really tell what's, what's firing here because it keeps firing. So uh, let's put some text instead. Now, when you do console.log, you can put more than one type of information. I can put brackets here, which represents an object. And then I can put a comma and put more than one item. Here, I just say, this is drag over. So it can console.log this object like this, instead of just giving one type of information, right? So let's do that as well here. Let's see, uh, this is drop. Uh, great. We know the drug stat works, so we'll leave that be. Let's see which one of these others are working. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do wrong here? It's saying uh, syntax error, missing property ID. Where? Hmm. This just happened when I added these two guys. So let me undo them and see. Okay. So those two guys are the problem. So what did I do wrong? That's the data. And then that's the data. Oh, I can't use this as a... Okay, no, I need to put a key here because this this cannot be a key. This is an object. Mm. Okay, so I'd have to do this. Uh, key value, key value. This can be both a key and a value because it says text. This one is an, a whole element. So probably that's why. Eh, missing property ID. Well, well. Okay, so that and then comma. Is it full colon? Am, am I getting losing my mind here? Yeah, I think I can't do this. Drag over. Let me rip. Uh, I need to add key value pairs, I guess. Well, that's probably what it's complaining about. Meh. Okay, things are good now. Okay, so if I move things around, I get an object with drag over and the actual element in there. So cool. At least I can see more information like this. I know what is happening. But the drop doesn't seem to work. So let's see here. So not drop anywhere here. So I guess that's why. So drag over is working just fine. So we can remove it. There we go. So maybe we should put the drop on uh, something else. Let me try this. Let me grab this drop. Let's go back on this one. I want to try and add it on this one. We may drop an item in here. So let's do on drop. Uh -huh. And let's just say uh, alert when we drop, right? Let's see, just to see if it works. And then let's drag and drop. Nope. Nothing. It does not work. It's like JavaScript just eliminated the drop. <laughs> hmm. So how do we... Uh, what do we do now? Okay. Let's see. Of all these drag... Uh, enter exit so maybe it's called drag exit because that doesn't make sense there's drag leave and there's drag exit so what be the difference I not know this let's try it right on drag exit yes so maybe they renamed it because I'm old school 
I was there when we were using drop instead. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let me grab and ah, looky there. Mm-hmm. Seems to be working. Interesting good. Grab. Ah oh, no, that doesn't seem to be my jam. Oh no no. I didn't drop this thing. No, I did not drop it. Okay. So, not the thing. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Drag. Ah, there's drag end. Look at that. Who knew? Ah, okay. So I think it went to drag end. Let's try that one. Drag end. Kuguru. Okay, refresh there. Let's grab and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Looky there. So I'm moving it around and then I drop. Boom. There we go. Very cool. Boom. Very nice. I like. I like. Okay. So we can say on drag end. Let's run something on drag end. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can put this on the drag end and drop here. Let's let's try it here on drag end. Maybe that can actually work. And let's remove it from here. Maybe we don't need it to put, to put it here. So let me refresh. And let's try this again, shall we? Oops. Ah, I think something happened. Let me put some text so I can see. I want to see. Move this to here. Ah, looky there. It's a working. I drag this to here. Boom. Drag it to there. Mm -hmm. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Looky there. Boom. Very cool. So you can drag it to here and then move it one step down and it will work like that. So boom and boom. So it's up to you if you want to put it below. Let's see here. If I, because right now, okay, let me remove that. We don't need that anymore. Here it inserts before items to drag to, right? But if we want to uh, insert, we can do dot next element sibling like that. Okay, dokey. Let's try that. Maybe that will work a little bit better. So grab this and let's do that. And let's try this. Okay, so that works a little bit better. So now it puts at the bottom. So which means you can't really put it right at the top. So you have to move it. Like, <laughs> eh, pros and cons, right? Right. All right, but at least we have everything working now. The drag and drop is working. The delete is working. Um, let's add this item and try to move it to the middle there. I'll move it there. Mm. So if you don't want it to move, uh, you, you can choose either next sibling or there. Uh, just test the two and see which one you like best. All right, so great. Things are working and now we just need to save the data. So see you in the next video.